What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people are always asking me when you get to Chicago, Truth, they want you to do it a little different. And that's a lot of interviewers, and I see them. You know, everybody do their thing. I choose to want to come out here and kind of like get a map. I want to go to every neighborhood that we see trending on the internet and speak to some of the guys who we see on the internet. For some strange reason, you know, the drill culture then breed it like stars and the world watch it. And it's up to the world to pick who they want to be the stars. And I noticed that it's single-handedly guys in the community who the hood just pinpoint. And uh, today I got one of these guys today. Um, for the people who don't know exactly what's going on, you'll let them know what your name is and where you're from, bro. I'm T.W. Little Bubba from 61st and c Second Everhard. Okay, now, you know, when you just said that, I kind of want to, like, pinpoint on something with that one. You yeah. said the, the T.W. That's tight my world, right? For sure. Okay. Uh, exactly where is that at? Uh, 61st and C-Second Everhard. And uh, we used to be on 61st and Vernon. Is that, like, the same thing as, like, St. Lawrence and, like, Jaro City? Because I see that a lot on the internet. Yeah, that's all the same. It's all the same thing. It's just like we just look like we little brothers. Like everybody shouting, we just little brothers of them, and we right. got our own friends. They got their own friends. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's all. Uh, with the Taekwon, that's like because I noticed when things happen in the community, uh, that hood show respect by naming you like the streets after that person. Uh, who was Taekwon? Oh, that's my little bro. Uh, he died in 2013. So you knew him? Yeah. Oh. No, for a long time. So yeah. was he like grown? Was he grown? Cause I hear stories that he was real, real young. No, nah, he was he was he was he was a rough dude. Man, he used to fight like he was tough. He was a tough uh -huh. dude. He used to go around at different people places to catch me. He'll find him. He was if he would win or lose, he still was getting it in with people. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I hear stories. You know the internet. The internet get crazy now. Okay. I hear stories that his death turned this young lady from Chicago kind of crazy. Right. Uh, by the name of Ja'Kyra Bonds. They say his death turned her crazy. Did you know Ja'Kyra K.I.? Yeah, that's my, yeah, that's my rapper. Yeah, that's like one of my, yeah, I mean, I'm real tight. Like, that's my homie homie. Her cray cray, yeah, my homie homies. You know, I haven't asked a few people about her. Um, I actually had an opportunity to ask Seaball about her. I think that's like her uncle or something. For sure. Uh, I want to ask you because you was a friend, okay? For so, sure. you know, he couldn't really tell me as much. Uh, from you, I want to know, how was she? Because, not to ask this again, because I asked this in a lot of interviews, but they tell me that she was just like this, this army veteran, killer, monster, you know? You got any stories about K.I.? Man, K.I., all we did was shoot dice. We shoot dice all day. That's all I ever did. We shot dice. That's all we were doing. Shooting dice, riding bikes. That's all we was really doing. Did she see any of that shit on the internet, how they kind of like, pushed her up to be this drill goddess. Did she see the rap catch-ups and shit like that? I think she she didn't get the chance to see it, but she was having a lot of altercations with people on the internet. Right. For sure. Did you guys see the stories about her on the internet? The, she got a hundred bodies and shit. Did you guys see that on the internet? How do you guys feel about that? We see it, but it's like, there's a lot of stuff on the internet. You don't believe what you see on the internet. Right. You know, there's a lot of stuff on there. That shit fake. Right, because I be seeing it. You know what I also see in that, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I gotta have to be a hundred with you now. Sure. Um, it's a video that I think is like one of the most important videos in the drill coach. I ain't gonna say it's the important, but it's like it speaks a lot of volumes. Uh, Taekwondo World TV has a song. I actually had an opportunity to interview him. For sure. Uh, he got a song and it had him, Poppy, and I think Richie Jerk on it. For sure. Uh, all three of those guys were shot and killed in Chicago. For sure. Was that in surreal to you guys when, when, that, when that shit happened like that? Yeah, them my brothers, you know? Poppy and Biko, Perks, them my homie homie. Like, them all our life we was together. Mm. All our life. Slept the same beds, everything. Bro, no. You know, they kind of pushed TB into this uh, gorilla man status on the internet. I've seen a lot of stories about him. I don't want to throw no shade, but I recall watching a video a long time ago about him being one of the top assassins and shit like that. And I thought it was crazy because it came off a YouTube channel that wasn't from Chicago, right? Yeah. Um, did, did he see any of that? Did you guys talk about those kind of videos that was on the internet, man? No, see, the dude, it was a dude who went around and made all that stuff up. I think his name was Chicago or something. He made that and put all the attention on bro. So, motherfuckers was 
trying to check him, see what was to him for doing that, and Biko was fake mad at him, but I think him and Biko talked it out or whatever. Uh -huh. But he was the one drew that attention on bro like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do those videos make the neighborhood hot, though? Do, do it make it hot, though, for real? No, nah, I don't make the neighborhood hot. It make that individual hot. And when that individual be hot, whatever going on the neighborhood, if you out there, the police will grab you and, you know what I'm saying, try to say it's you or something. I'll be like, like that. that. Yeah, police, you know, if you got a name or you hot, police will fuck with you. So it is police is watching this drill social media shit? I don't know about the social media, but you got some police that know people off the social media. Yeah. Bro, they be looking at people Instagram and shit. Do you think Taekwondo World get the look they supposed to get the look in as far as rap? Because when I look on the internet, I see it is the presence of people who rap out there. Yeah, fun rap, but it's like, man, motherfuckers be really chilling that we like right. head our fun. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of niggas know, like we head our fun. We with the read, we the reason a lot of niggas want to act tough. You know what I'm saying? We head our fun. A lot of niggas our age know. I'm broke. Right. We ain't chasing this shit. We living life now. You know. um... Okay, I don't want to get too tough, but I got to ask you, okay? Sure. The people not going to let me not ask you about this. I want to know, because uh, I, I hear the stories of, like, Old Block versus St. Lawrence and shit like that. Sure. Um, I didn't really see too much of, like, um, tight Kwan world rappers really dissing them besides, like, TB them. I did see that, right? I want to know, was y'all issue with them because of, like, duck issue or y'all issue was, like, deeper too before that rap shit? See, see. Because I see that's, it. It's just like y'all hoods are in it. It's that's like, a good question. But it's like everybody together. That might be his big brother. That might be his cousin. That might be his uncle. So it's like his generation. Like if they, that's what they got, it pass on. They keep going. You know what I'm saying? So it's people that's like, from the BBT, they grown, grown. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's like close to them. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, right. but everybody, friends and family. So whatever going is all together. It's just different clicks, but it's, all the same shit. All right. And EBT, that's Everhart, right? Yeah. I want to ask you something, because I had an opportunity about a month ago to interview a guy by the name of EBT Greg. For sure. Okay. Uh, you know, he's he was kind of, you know, saying things about the old neighborhood. Is, is, is it an issue with you guys? See, you know, it's with me and him, because he like, he like, that's towards EBT and STL where he like, they generally look older. And he was across that way. We was across City First, City Second. So, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what they got going or whatever. They ain't no beef or nothing, I don't think so. They all, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know because that's, they look blah, blah, They all homies and shit like, you know what I'm saying? We all together. We don't get in. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of neighborhoods in Chicago. A lot of communities, okay? It's a lot of them. Sure. Uh, for some reason... The neighborhood where you come from, the world just, for some reason, fell in love with They crushed on that area, okay? So, and I ask people this, from from Bubba Man's day, okay? Why do everybody love that area? Because when I read the newspaper, I see a lot of violence. You know, look, I'm going to say something with you. Before all this shit kicked off, a lot of people was all running around, friends. You know, we was, they was on this side having fun where we was at. 